while doing a 24 hour stealth camp at Red Lobster, I asked if you wanted to see me do a 24 hour stealth camp at Applebee's and a ton of you said yes. So I packed up the van, hit up a gas station and drove to the closest Applebee's, which just happens to be in the city of Barrie, Ontario, Canada. I am so looking forward to eating a delicious lunch, a fantastic dinner. Look at that Applebee's juicy rib. Then sleeping in the parking lot and waking up to snow on the van and a hot coffee. That's how cold it is in here. Look at the steam. And then wait until Applebee's opens for a scrumptious takeout lunch suitcases of food i'm saying if this sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch then grab something to eat sit back and enjoy this video it's huge there it is guys applebee's our next 24 hour place to stay and eat can't wait Alright, how are you doing today? Good. Just for one. Check out all the goodness here at Applebee's. I'm definitely doing this. I looked it up online. It's the chicken wonton tacos. They have a lot of amazing things. Let me know in the comments below what you guys choose when you come to Applebee's. Ooh, that looks good too. Spicy maple glazed popcorn shrimp. <gasps> it's right there. Ooh, they got a special thing. All you can eat. Yikes. Can't decide? Try them all. Ooh, look at those cinnamon buns. Drinks. Check that out. Walter White and Jesse Pinkman on the back of an Applebee's menu. So I was kind of thinking I'll probably do a sandwich kind of thing in the van, but I'm gonna have to do other types of meals in the restaurant. And that was what I wanted, I think. The bourbon street steak. Instead of mashed potatoes, I'm gonna do um, broccoli. They got pr looks like they got pretty good burgers here, cowboy burger. So it looks like the top sirloin and the bourbon street steak are the same thing. This one's just jazzed up with Cajun spices, which I want. But I want um, the sauteed uh, shrimp on there. Here. Yeah, that's what I want. That's gonna be freaking awesome. Hello. I want to want to try that wonton tacos. They look good. Yeah. Uh, I, I would love to try your bourbon street steak, but with the um, the seasoned shrimp, the Cajun seasoned shrimp on top. And how do you want the steak cooked? Uh, medium rare, please. And mashed potatoes, okay? Any gravy? Uh, could I swap out the mashed potatoes for um, broccoli? So important. We don't have any broccoli. No broccoli. All right. Garlic mashed potatoes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Can't wait. Totally forgot to show you guys. It is 1220 March 28th, Thursday. And we'll be eating here for 24 hours. Can't wait. Cheers. HP sauce here at Applebee's in Canada. Let me know what Applebee's in the United States has. Probably A1, right? Let me know. Check it out, guys. Here's your extreme close-up of the chicken wonton tacos. Tangy grilled chicken tossed in sweet Asian chili sauce stuffed into crispy wonton shells and topped with their signature Asian slaw and cilantro. It's only $15.99. They, they're, they're not as big as I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be much larger, but that's okay. Oh, they used a... Um, lime slice on either end to hold them up so i'm guessing i should use the lime squeeze it on my tacos there we go oh that's squirted me right in the face good thing i have my safety glasses on cheers guys mm -mm. very crunchy definitely getting that sweet heat and I knew as soon as I bit into it it would crumble apart but I managed to not lose too much stuff pretty good though mm. the chicken is juicy and tender the cilantro is really nice touch mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna really enjoy eating here for 24 hours 
Next time I come here, I'm gonna make sure my wife orders these. I think she would love them. Love them. The chicken is really nice. These are fantastic. Definitely takes two bites. Probably should do it in three. What a great way to start this 24 hour extravaganza off. Can you hear that crunch? Insane. Yeah, definitely three bites. You're pretty safe with three. I'm really glad that I used up the, uh, the lime. That is definitely a must add. I'm gonna need my fork to scoop up all this goodness. Since I have this extra lime, I'm gonna squeeze it all on there. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Juicy. Mmm, love it. Mmm, that cilantro's definitely strong. My first clean plate award of the day. Wow. Just be careful. Sure. When you guys say sizzling, you mean sizzling. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, no, it looks great. Thank you. Holy smokes, people. Check this out, guys. The Bourbon Street Steak Canadian Triple A Top Sirloin. It's jazzed up with Cajun spices and garlic butter. Serves sizzling on a cast iron platter with sauteed mushrooms and onions. Served with house-made red skin and garlic mashed potatoes. And it's only $33.99. But of course, I added the sauteed Cajun seasoned shrimp for $5.99 extra. And topped with a big glob of butter. Wow, I gotta have a little couple of these shrimp to start off. Mm. Whoa, they weren't kidding about the spice. That is, those are good shrimp. I'm gonna spread some of this butter on here for sure. I love butter on my steak like that. Oh, you're treating your customer as well. Oh, that's a nice, look at that juiciness. I gotta cut the steak open, people. See how well they did. Oh, and they did it well, perfect. Check that out. It is juicy and it is perfectly cooked. It is dripping on the table. I apologize. Wow. Definitely garlicky. Oh, I'm so glad that they did this, the steak right. You always worry about ordering a steak at certain places. I'm gonna do it with a bit of steak, a bit of uh, shrimp, some of the garlic mashed potatoes. There we go, look at that, loaded. Mm, those three combination was awesome. I wanna do another one here, of course. It's a nice big piece of steak, people. Look at that, big chunk. All the sauteed onions underneath. That's what I kinda missed out on the last one is onion, mushroom, yeah. Got a shrimp on there, if I can. My fork is loaded. I want another piece of onion. Look at this big piece right there. There we go. Mm. The onions were placed right up against that skillet and uh, they were extremely high. So be careful. Mm, garlic mashed. Oh, oh. That was stupid hot as well, because again, right against that skillet. I always have to think about which meals I'm gonna eat in the restaurant and in the car. I'm glad I chose this one to be eaten in the restaurant. I doubt it would be sizzling. In the van, the Cajun spices and that garlic butter are coming together really nicely. And then again, adding that shrimp on there is definitely a bonus and the way to go. It is still steaming like crazy. All this juicy butter, oh my gosh. Just wanted to show you 
a glistening close-up of how perfectly they did that steak up. Isn't that wonderful, guys? Let me know in the comments below how you love your steak at Applebee's. Mm, just asked my server about the broccoli, and as far as she knows, they've never had broccoli here. So, And I just looked at the menu again just to see if there are any pictures of broccoli. Nope. All right, guys, last piece of amazing steak. I'm going to kind of wrangle up all my butter there, drive it all through there like that. All right, guys, I'm enjoying this meal so much. I'm going to have to give it a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite to every single one of you men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This last juicy apple bee bite is just for you. Mmm. The butter's so good. Clean plate award number two. They have some amazing desserts here, and uh, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do. I think I have to do the, the ice cream type ones in here, and I might bring one to the van later on. I have to figure out which one's the best one to eat in here. All right, the triple chocolate meltdown. It has a star beside it, so it must be good. Yep, that's what's gonna be, the triple chocolate meltdown. I saw a little star right here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll the do that. Meltdown. Yeah, the triple chocolate meltdown. Oh, Looks nice. crazy. Yeah, it is really yeah. good. That shouldn't take long to get. I contemplated using this on my steak, but the steak was so good, it didn't need it. But it's a good backup. Hey, there you go. Thank you very much. Oh, You're very welcome. That looks great. Yeah. Check it out, guys. The triple chocolate meltdown. Warm, rich, fudge-filled chocolate cake topped with dark chocolate and drizzled with hot fudge served with vanilla ice cream. A little piece of ice cream first before it all melts. Yeah. Mmm, the uh, chocolate that they drizzled on it got kind of hard. Remember that stuff you could squeeze on your ice cream and it would get hard? I think it was called shell. Let's break this open and see how much fudge is inside. Ooh, soft. Let's check that out. Ooh, nice. I thought it was going to be like falling out of here, but I guess it's in the middle. Take off a little bit of that fudge. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, warm, fresh, spongy, definitely triple chocolate. Oh, right in the middle there, there's a big clump of fudge. Wow, definitely rich and decadent. We are definitely going for a big walk later on, because this is... Uh, this is a lot for my system to handle, but oh, so worth it. Somebody's getting something sizzling. That camera's gonna die any minute now, so I'm trying to hurry up. I can see why this is one of their signature desserts. It was fabulous. Mm -hmm. It is this good, people. And I'm scraping the plate. Done. Look at that. All done. All Fantastic. Done. That's my favorite. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. Don't eat that too often. Yeah. <laughs> um, was there anything else I can get for you? That's it. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. All right, guys. I got a deal for you. If we get 3,500 likes on this video, I'll come back to do the all you can eat at Applebee's. And which one should I do? All right, guys, here is the receipt. There are all the prices. There are all the taxes with a 25% tip because she totally deserved it. Uh, it was 91.43 Canadian. Thank you. This place is pretty cool, eh? Check it out. Next thing I'm gonna have to think about it's where to park tonight. If I park here, it'll be really noisy. I might have to park around back. Right now, I'm just parked over there. And there is some stuff going on over here, so I might be able to park in the Canadian Tire parking lot. We'll see. wanted to show you something well right now it's 16 degrees 
uh, inside the van, but it is five degrees Celsius outside. Uh, one of the things Carol and I did when we went down to Florida is Carol wanted a sink, so we temporarily put this sink in here. It's bolted down here and on the other side. Uh, we put a big jug of water in there, and then we have a pump. The pump is right here. This is one of those pumps you can get on Amazon. It's press the top and it draws water up from uh, whatever kind of container you have. They're meant for those big five gallon or 18 liter water containers. So you don't have to flip them upside uh, down on top of a cooler or whatever. You just put this in with a long hose and you just press this and it pumps the water up for you. And so we mounted it to that. And so we had a working sink for the trip. Uh, right now it's been taken apart because we don't want anything to freeze up here in Canada. The next couple things we did when we were down in the States is we got a couple more uh, magnets. We got this one from uh, Cape St. George. We went to that lighthouse and then we got the Indian Pass. It is uh, 237, 238 and uh, I'm going to go for a nice walk. Just want to take off one of the layers because it is now like seven degrees Celsius. And when I do like a five to eight K walk, you have too many layers on, it is definitely too hot for that kind of thing. So just a nice light jacket, long sleeves, and away we go. be fun doing a Chuck's 24 hour stealth camp. Sleep country, 24 hours. <laughs> Mucho barrito. Pizza, pizza. Check it out, the taste of shawarma. There's an oldie but a goodie. Total camper, van camp, plugins, everything. Planet Fitness, who heard the news about Planet Fitness? So it is uh, 5.43. I'm thinking it'd be probably best to get in there before six, before the big rush. And uh, I just wanted to quickly show you my workout. So, so far today, I've done over 11,600 steps. My total distance today is 8.9 kilometers. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I've burned about 671 calories so far. I've set my phone and my uh, um, activity app to try and burn at least 750 calories per day. Let me know in the comments below if you have an activity app or some type of an app that will help you gauge how many calories you burn and how many calories do you think you should burn every single day, walking, working, whatever you do. I'm just gonna cool down for a minute and then uh, we'll go in and grab our dinner. Hello. Hello. One, please. Sure. Perfect. Thank you. Hello. All right. How are you doing? I'm good. Excellent. I'll be taking care of you. Welcome. Give you something to drink. 
Uh, I'm just going to do water. I think your ribs would be a, a second. You want to do the full yeah. ribs? Uh, let's do the full rib. Yeah, Perfect. full rack. Okay, and you're fine with the fries? Come Thanks. Here. Do you want gravy? Yes, please. Yeah. Let's go for it. Perfect. Thanks. Sorry, you just wanted water? Uh, water, and I, f I forgot to uh, talk. If you want to take care of them no, first. No, I did. I just put in there a Debit machine. Oh, okay. Um, let's try that. The spicy okay. maple. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that first, and Perfect. then I'll, and then then I'll the do the ribs. ribs. Yeah, thank Perfect. you. Got to get the appetizers. Got to show you guys everything. So, yeah, guys, looking at the appetizers. These are all the Canadian appetizers. And there's some more over here. But look at this. Spicy maple glazed popcorn shrimp. And it's $15.99. And then we're going to do the full rack of ribs. Barbecue pork back ribs. And we're doing the full rack. Oh, it's already super fast. There you go. Thank you. Enjoy. I will. All right, guys, check this out. It's the spicy maple glazed popcorn shrimp. It's spicy. It's a lightly breaded, crispy, tender shrimp tossed in their Canadian maple glaze. It smells sweet and spicy. Well, you can smell that maple. Mm, I'm thinking that's going to be ranch, but I'm not 100% sure. Every time I eat something at Applebee's, I burn my mouth. <laughs> it almost has a jalapeno kind of flavor to it, which is possibly one of the spices they put in there. And then you get that maple glaze and the sweetness. It almost tastes like honey. Shrimp, breaded, tossed in honey, jalapeno with a bit of um, maple syrup. That's kind of what it tastes like. Really good. It's almost a dessert. It's that sweet. Let's try this dip. This ranch. Hmm. I guess it works. How's the shrimp? Pretty good. I guess it's ranch. Yeah, it's ranch on yeah. the side, yeah. So it's working. It's just I wouldn't have thought of putting ranch in there. Let's get one of these right here. And we'll dip it in there. Goo it all up. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh, already. Got to got to eat fast around here. Thank you. Of course. Can I get you anything else? Uh, that's it. Thank you. All right. Enjoy. All right. I will. Thanks. I gotta shut up and eat, right? They're very good without the ranch. As soon as you dip it in the ranch, the spiciness kind of disappears. So I recommend eating them straight up. Those ribs look amazing. I'm definitely going to sleep well tonight. Very crispy, very crunchy. The shrimp are nice and juicy. Nice and Sorry, I didn't think it was going to come that fast. That's hard, I got a beautiful view of my van and Canadian Tire. <laughs> oh, three more and we're done. Let's do all three of them. Very good. Now the question is, would you order this or the tacos? Like I said, this is very sweet, a lot of honey. That's what it tastes like. So if I came back again, which I will, and I was going to order another appetizer, I'd definitely do the tacos over the shrimp. Although this was good. It's rib time, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Check out these pork back ribs. Slow cooked to fall off the bone tenderness. Slathered in their Memphis barbecue sauce. And of course I got fries with some coleslaw. Let's check out their fries. I picked up right up with the sauce end. Mm -hmm. It tastes good with the barbecue sauce on there. The fries are seasoned nicely, like um, seasoned salt. Very nice. Just want to get some more of these fries off here so we can see if it is fall off the bone. We're ready to eat. The gravy's pretty good. I like their fries. Very nice. All right, let's pick up this full rack and see if it will fall apart. Let's see if we can bend it, twist it. Yep, it's definitely, look at that. That fell right off. Here's the bone. The plate is spinning. You look at that, I can barely pick it up without it falling off. Look at that tenderness, beauty juiciness
Mm. Their Memphis barbecue sauce is pretty good. I'm very glad she brought more napkins because I am going to need it. This is just an amazing feast. Let's see it again. Here we go. Pull that bone like that. It just comes apart. No excess chewing on the bone. Oh, this is going to be beautiful right here. Mmm. It has been a while since I've done ribs. Why did I wait so long? Cleaned. Next, look at that Applebee's juicy rib. Mmm. That is perfection. The only problem with ribs. I guess I should have put the straw in my glass when I'm doing ribs. I hate... Bigger for you. Oh my <laughs> gosh, she knows. <laughs> yeah, I saw the hand up. It's like the national sign. <laughs> yeah, it's like, how did you pick up your glass? Okay, let's do a, a temporary clean. Just so I can have some more fluids. And wipe my mouth. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching my videos. Really appreciate it. Fry. Fry. Rib. All right, here we go. Just a close-up of me pulling this bone off. It's hard to do this with one hand. Let me see if I can just do this with... I was going to pinch the meat. Pinch the meat, and look at that. It just falls right off. Wow. What a mess. Mm-hmm. When you do that, you just get these huge chunks of meat. Juicy, jiggly meat. And enjoy the wonderfulness. And that bone, again, just falls right off. All bone that side, all meat this side. There's an extra bone. There were two bones in there. There we go. I think there's only one bone in this one. Yeah. Cleaned. Let's try this coleslaw. As a lot of you guys know, I'm not a huge coleslaw fan, but I like to try different coleslaws from around the world. Not overly tangy, which is what I hate. It's very vinegary. But this is not. It's nice and mild. Mm hmm As coleslaws go, it's not bad. Done. Two more bones. Now that's a lot of meat. Wow. Right over. Mm. You doing okay still with the ribs? I always get people, they're good. Eh? Uh -huh. The sauce on them is my favorite. I'm gonna need a hose down later. <laughs> I'll bring you some extra wet naps. All right, thank you. Well, yeah, okay, thanks. You guys, welcome. Here's the familiar. Welcome. Look at this last amazing chunk. Two? Yeah. Did you want green for your fries? No, we just have the orange. Sorry. Actually, no, we have the very tasty. I'll switch it out then. For white cheddar? Yeah. Very yummy. Perfect. I definitely come back. Just for the ribs. Wet nap time. I think we need a bigger wet nap. I have to go to the washroom after. That's just not going to cut it. Dip. Chew. Repeat. Look at that. Gooiness. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Last bit of gravy. Done. Check it out, guys. Clean plate award at dinner time. Some extra. Oh, great! Thank Always you. Need extra wet I'm like holding it up. It's like time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> these are these help you get to the washroom, but they definitely don't clean your hands, especially the size of it. It's like one nap per finger almost. Really full. 
but I want dessert. Do you need dessert or anything? I think I'm going to do dessert. And then we also have Let's... our brownie, which it's like two pieces of our, it's a blue ribbon brownie. So two pieces of brownie and, and two big scoops of ice cream. Yeah, the uh, the blue ribbon brownie. It's really good. It's got nuts in it too. It's really good. Fantastic. Perfect. I'll get that for Sold. You. Oh my goodness. Here it comes. Hey, and dessert. Thank you. I mean, can I have another glass of water? Of course. I'll Thank you. Back. Wow. Holy shit. That's a lot of food. It did say it was shareable. Any of you guys available? Come on over. Oh my God, look at this craziness. Huge brownies with nuts and chocolate sauce poured all over it. Got two scoops of ice cream and then another one. What? I guess we should get started. Got my water. That'll help with the sweetness. Gotta do some ice cream first. Let's dig into that brownie. Wow. Rich, chocolatey. Oh yeah. I love soft brownies like that. Super moist. It's like eating dough, like cookie dough. Big huge chunks of cookie dough. Mm. Here we go, guys. Let's go in for a nice close up. Pushing your spoon through this moistness, through this chocolatiness. Look at that. Oh, get some ice cream too. See if we can scoop that up together. Oh my. So lesson learned, if it says it's a shareable dessert and you're by yourself, don't get it. Especially after eating a full rack of ribs, because this is killer, man. Killer. Might have to get a doggy bag. I'll eat one and we'll take this one home for tomorrow night, because I'm going to die tonight if I eat all that. Those brownies are so decadent and sweet. In a great way. But when your body is saying, okay, we're done, tap out. But you just want to finish that last little bit. Mm. Brain freeze. How's your brownie? Uh, great, but I'm gonna need a box of that. Yeah, of Thanks. course. That's, uh, that's the best part about having two pieces. Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay, thank you so much. Oh my God. Have a Always got brain freeze. I tried the thumb, tried drinking water, pushing my tongue into the roof of my mouth. Nothing works, except time. Is that big enough for it, or did you want a bigger box? No, that'll fit, thank okay, you. Perfect. I'm glad I didn't get too much ice cream on there. I would have wrecked it. Just That's trying to pick okay. this up. Oh, it's perfect. Nailed it. Another clean dessert plate. Oh, we got some leftovers for tomorrow. Yummy. Anything else for you? That's it, thank you Just very much. Bill? Yes, please. Gotcha. All right, guys, there's your Applebee's a dinner a bill. And uh, there's the ribs, gravy, popcorn, shrimp, brownie, and water. Came to a total of $60.97 with the almost $8 HST, which is our taxes here in Ontario. So $68.90 plus a $17.23 tip. So the total is $86.13 Canadian. All right, guys, I am stuffed. It is time to go back to the van and it is movie night in the Sprinter van. Okay. Thanks again. No problem. Beautiful night. Well, it's almost 7 p.m. Not really uh, ready to watch a movie right now. 
So I'm going to take these boots off, put my running shoes on, and just go for a nice slow walk. Maybe find a moment pop shop, grab a coffee, and then we'll come back here. Uh, in the meantime, I'll go through all your comments from a few videos ago when I asked for your comment uh, or your suggestion on a movie that I should watch, a recommendation from you to me to watch when I'm lying in bed uh, waiting for the next meal. Uh, for 24 hours at these restaurants. I just also want to show my appreciation from me to you for you guys watching my videos. As you can tell, they're very expensive to do when I'm eating at these larger restaurants and eating, uh, you know, an appetizer, a main course, and a dessert. They're well over $60, $70, up to $100, especially when there's steaks and seafood involved. Uh, good thing I'm not drinking beer on top of that because it would definitely be well over $100. So I just wanted to show my appreciation from me again to you uh, for watching these videos, for hitting that thumbs up, especially, and your comments. And I also wanna thank my channel members for all their monthly support and my supporters over on Patreon, you guys rock.